I'm your host, Logan23. You're joining me for Calendar Girl Chapter 2. Aunt Millie has so many roles, for example. Your client is supposed to pick you up in a limo, so it looks classy. Well, if I'm going to spend practically a month with this guy, I'm going to do it at least partially on my terms. Sure, I have to be an escort on to pay off Dad's gambling debts, so my ex-boyfriend friend won't kill my whole family. But I'm still my own person. Your motorcycle, which you lovingly call Susie, is the only valuable thing you have. I'm not leaving her behind. Besides, what if I'm in a jam and have to take off? But can I simply ignore Aunt Millie's instructions? I don't want to lose the gig. I'm gonna... Disobey Aunt Millie. You sling your leg over Susie and straddle her. She loves it when I ride her. I know, because she roars with pleasure. And I bet the client won't mind if I mix it up. If he does, I won't last there a month. All your belongings fit into a backpack. You're not even bringing any clothes besides some underwear and a little black dress. Aunt Millie says clothes are the responsibility of the client on these long jobs. The client dresses you. That way you know you're wearing what he wants. Hmm. It's a spectacular day at the beach. The only other person around is a surfer riding waves. I guess that's his jeep. I don't see any other cars. I'm nervous. It wouldn't be if the client's name was Weston Charles Channing III. I'll entertain myself by... Mmm... Fantasizing about the client. Eh. Checking on Madison. Texting Janelle. Okay, so she has a relationship with some of her friends that I do. Um, hey, Skank. Yeah, hey, uh, what's up? Waiting for the first client. The one I texted you last night? Did you study your rules? I like to speak only when spoken to. You're gonna have no problem with that one. If you tape your mouth shut. Thanks for the vote of confidence. I'm at the beach. There's a super hot surfer. Don't stare. Weston Charles Channing the Third might get jealous. Love you, Tramp. Love you more, hussy. Wait. Oh, this is new. Oh, that is new! You have now surpassed choices. <laughs> You can't take your eyes off the server. It's a beautiful sight, and he's part of the ocean. I believe the surfer is actually the guy who is your client, too. His hips shift ever so slightly when he steers the board. You realize you've noticed these tiny movements because you're staring at his package. A wetsuit compresses everything down so tightly, and yet... Whatever he got must be enormous. Whoops, he got me scary, staring. Wait, he's waving? The surfer paddles into the shallows and picks up his board. As soon as he gets to the parking lot, he tosses the board into the jeep. Then he unzips the wetsuit partly. Oh my. Crap, was that out loud? It must have been. He waves you again, a big smile on his tan face. Climb off your bike, unzip your jacket a few inches. He looks delicious. I wonder how he tastes. Salty, like the sea? <laughs> okay, god damn. Um, the surfer walks over and looks you up and down very slowly. Your body tingles under his gaze, just as uh, obviously you return the stare. Yeah, it's him. How pleasantly unexpected. Yeah, unexpected. You're Mia? That's me. You, Weston Charles Tanning the Third? My friends call me Wes. Am I your friend? Again, his eyes travel over your curves, and you shiver in response. One can only hope, Miss Mia. You ready to go? Your dollar. You say where and when. I'd offer you a ride when it looks like you've got one. I'll follow you. Your brief ride cools down your lust enough for you to think clearly. The outside of Wes's mansion is beautiful. The outside of Wes, in full view as he peels off the top of the wetsuit, is just as good. Come on in. 
I just need to finish changing. This place is incredible. What a view. While the Paladin room is beautifully decorated, the picture windows have captured your attention. You can see rolling hills for miles. Wes comes in the living room. You're sad to see. His gorgeous chest is covered. Let me take your jacket, and then I'll show you the view that sold me on this house. He hangs your jacket up and takes you by the hand. It's warm and soft, yet strong. Your heart rate picks up as he pulls you into what's clearly his bedroom. Oh my god. His hand tightens on yours, sending a bolt of electricity through your body. In front of you is an un unobstructed view of the Pacific Ocean. That's the beach where we met a few minutes ago. He's close enough for you to feel his breath on your cheek. If I get any hotter over this guy, I'm going to melt. But we've just met. Nothing wrong with letting a little attraction show, right? I think I'm gonna play it cool. Flash him a quick smile and walk a step closer to the window. I bet you wish you had a zip line to just take you right to the beach. Only if I had a chairlift to get me and my board back home. I heard your bike screaming on the last incline. Better the bike than me. I, as Captain America said, I, I get that reference. Well, if you ask me, which I'd rather hear. Okay, before we get sidetracked, let me show you your room. Yeah, <laughs> keeps holding your hand, and you like it. Focus, Mia, this is a business arrangement. We aren't going to have a relationship, we're going to have a transaction. I'm doing this for money, focus on that. This will be your home for the next 24 days. And here are the clothes you'll need. Of course, you're welcome to keep everything. The closet is stuffed with gorgeous designer threads with tags still on. Wow, I feel like the character in Pretty Woman speaking of money. I could sell this stuff and buy Manny a car if nothing else. Everything is beautiful, thank you. Now I really don't understand why he needs to hire an escort. He's handsome, he's hung, he's generous. I don't want to come off rude, though. Should I make small talk or ask the important questions? Uh, how do you stay in shape? You're pretty buff. Do you work out besides surf surfing? That's all I've got time for. That's pretty much why you're here, to help me maximize the time I can spend working. He looks down and bursts out laughing. While you were chatting, you pulled off your boots so you could try on some of the shoes in the closet and revealed your knee-high green and red striped socks. I might die of an embarrassment. But he seems nice. It's not a mean laugh. I guess I'll... laugh it off. Well, if you want an L again, I think you see you're getting more than you asked for. <laughs> I'm definitely getting more than I asked for. You're quite positively the, one of the most beautiful women I've ever had the pleasure of laying my eyes on. I'm glad you want to lay your eyes on me. My eyes aren't the only thing that want to lie. I mean, lay on you. I always get those mixed up. Now's not the time. Your eyes mean. As if magnetized, you move closer to one another. Damn, I feel his body's heat through my shirt. Wes leans in to whisper in your ear. His long hair touches you as softly as his voice. I can't wait to see it naked. Well, you've got me for a month, so hang on. Did you just say you can't wait to see me naked? I did. I can barely think. Should I go with it or play hard to get? Why does he presume he's going to see me naked? Who am I kidding, though? Uh... <laughs> Slow your roll, sir! Um... Let's go with it. It might be the illusion of choice. That's not on the contract. You're assuming an awful lot, West the Third. There's nothing about nudity in the contract. I'm well aware of what's in the contract. I'm also well aware of what it feels like to want someone and to be wanted. And if I could see you naked, it won't because I'm paying for it. 
It'll be because you wanted it, too. He still lifts his powerful arms around your waist and pulls your clothes. You gasp as a steely member presses against you. If you drop your clothes for me, I won't have to have asked. He lowers his face to your neck and pauses, breathing you in. Stay perfectly still, each nerve focused, waiting for his next touch. Places a gentle, gentle whisper, light kiss on the skin, just behind your ear. The rough edge of a stubble, chin sliding along your smooth one, sends shivers down your spine. A wave of heat rushes between your thighs. You moan and his hands tighten on your waist. This sniffness grinds against your soft warmth. He swallows hard and places another soft kiss on the corner of your mouth. I can't wait until I don't have to ask. And just like that, he lets you go. You stand there with a smile on your face. <laughs> I love the music. <laughs> so dorky. He smiles back. I have to work in my office. Feel free to look around, sunbathe, use the pool. I'll need you ready and wearing a cocktail dress at five sharp. Dinner party meeting? A little of all three. I'll give you the notes later on. Um, see you then. See you then, Miss Mia. You squeeze the top of your hip and lays. The skin of your hip still fills the phantom of his dodge. Damn, he's gonna be trouble. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that confidence. Um. Mm. <sighs> There's nothing wrong with him. I, I really can't find anything wrong with it because he he's confident. I mean, it's a little egomaniacal, but he's also sure of himself. And I under well, I I want to know why though. And I want a reason, and hopefully we find out eventually why he wanted an escort. Yes, I know, a lot of professional businessmen and women, though rarely women as much as men, um, want the... Mm, they don't have time for a pursuit. They don't have time for games, and I can understand that. Um, there's a lot of times where I just don't have time myself for the games and the just chasing and the flirting and the will you and won't you and da 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 da. There's just times. Um, that and I've dealt with so many people who. It, oh, they're just not on my level, and I hate to sound egomaniacal myself, but they're they're just not intellectual. They're not on a lot of different levels. I'm not looking for, for perfection, I'm looking for someone who just wants to cut through the games, you know? And it just seems like everyone I come into contact with wants a game. The only game I want to do is like a game where I enjoy it, such as this. Uh, with that being said, I hope y'all did enjoy the video. Feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. Head down the description below, links to social media, our Discord, and a few links to support me and my content. Uh, chapter 3 will be up next. Without further ado, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch y'all then. Peace.